How long can birds live? To estimate the lifespan of the birds is not an easy task. I was following a bird from the point where it is born until its death is not a bed of roses to do. So, many methods are used for establishing an estimate of the bird's lives. Both direct and indirect methods are used. The immediate process involves capturing a bird and then banding it and then to capture it again for its life estimation. Higher mortality rates have been observed in young baby birds who do not have much experience of flying and saving themselves from predators. Many adults can also die even when they have crossed that young age. So the overall rate of the death remains average throughout the year. How do birds live? In simple words, many birds die at a young age while others who are older may die due to inherent risks that remain consistent for the overall year. The death expectancy rate of songbirds in urban areas is up to 70%, whereas, in tropical regions, the same birds have been observed to live a longer life. In Royal Albatross, the Fife death expectancy rate is over 30 years. Even if a bird survives one year, its risk of death goes up in the next year. After 19 years, common terns reach their old age, and ultimately, after that, their annual chance to die increases. Size plays a very significant role in the life duration of birds. Larger the size of the bird, more are chances that it will have a long life. Similarly, a small sized bird will have a shorter lifespan. But still, you cannot make an exact estimate about the life of any bird. Because some birds like albatrosses, tube noses and petrels, shorebirds, terns, and auks may have very long lives as compared to their size. Similarly, on the other hand, birds like game birds, chickadees, titmice, wrens have even shorter lives than their capacities. Birds in your home or captivation, are found to live longer lives. Once upon a time in a zoo, a bird called sulfur crested cockatoo lived almost 80 plus years. In Canada, a captivated geese lived for 33 years. Similarly, house sparrows in captivation lived for 23 years. When these species are in their natural habitats, their lifespan is shorter due to a more significant number of risks like predators, diseases, the lack of food. Recent researches about seabirds have shown that their lifespan will increase in the coming times. How do birds live? The second problem is related to the diet. It is very hard to find food in the chilling winds. Food is the utmost need to keep their body temperatures elevated. So these birds don't have any magic wand to survive winters, despite these birds have resolved their problems. Most birds work on a simple rule, they minimize the calories they use the whole day, and they ingest maximum calories for high body temperatures. How do birds survive the winter? We all are aware that most of the bird species fly away from the colder areas to find places that are warmer and humid. The main target point of all of the migratory birds is the tropical area of the earth. Their effort to leave their homes and traveling long distances twice a year indicates this fact that it is their necessary need to migrate so that they can avoid the freezing temperatures and storms. But some species of the birds excellently hold and face this chilling weather. They grab our attention because they have to face two situations simultaneously. Don't forget like and subscribe my channel and click on bell button for more videos.